happy midwinter. Uh, whatever our holidays you celebrate, I hope that you get to enjoy it with your family. Um, I am spending mine with my chosen family and keeping it pretty quiet. This week I had a special focus on kind of stretching myself and learning a lot of things along the way too, weaving some beautiful twill variation hand towels for our neighbors. We feel very fortunate that this year, while my youngest is in the hospital for an autoimmune disease, uh, we have neighbors who really went out of their way to help us feel loved and supported. One family brought us meals and another helped us take Kaylee to her regular, you know, like school class birthday parties just so she can have Anita relatively normal life while her sister was in the hospital. Clara is home and doing really well and I just really wanted to make something for the folks who were there for us this year. It was definitely a lesson to be learned about a beginner learning a craft and then immediately deciding to make gifts for other people with it. I had a lot of trouble with this particular warp. I did not wind it onto the beam very evenly, so I had to keep like cutting it and retensioning it. Uh, I recut it twice during the course of these towels. I like this treadling pattern so much. There's four different ones that create four totally different twill patterns, and I enjoy them so much that I'm planning to make another warp identical to this one and just tie it on and wind it through and make four more big ones for our own family use because I'm giving away almost every single one that, that didn't have really major glaring mistakes in them. Of course, every towel I'm giving away does have mistakes in it, but I count it all joy. It's all part of the process, and I think the people who receive them will hopefully understand the gratefulness that I have made these towels with. I am currently hard at work again on Clara's playtime mittens. I really wanted this mitten pattern to be one where you could knit it up in a variety of decay weight fibers or yarn made from different fibers rather and here I am demonstrating that pattern in Pearl Soho's knitting yarn, <laughs> the very basically named knitting yarn, which is quite a nice and bouncy merino. I would not say it's super soft. I would say it's a workhorse and it's reasonably soft and next to skin safe for me, but it is a little less soft than like the super fine type of merinos would be. I think this will make a really nice and sturdy mitten and many of their lines are quite affordable so I'm enjoying that a lot. I'm also starting to work towards the launch plan for my January and February garment releases. I've received this uh, wonderfully knit sample back from Lydia, one of my sample knitters. I have had this one knit up quite a lot smaller. <laughs> I decided to show it size down on my body for my narrow shoulders. Um, 
with one inch bust adjustment. I am not wearing a supportive bra here, so <laughs> the bust start placement is in the wrong place. But I will be showing it more in the future with that bust line. Um, you can see how it lays flat though across the bottom hem. And it doesn't ride up in the middle because it has the bust starts that support the extra length. Even though it feels like we're still in <laughs> winter holiday time with all the holidays and the vacation time still coming up, I already feel a little bit behind on January and February planning, so there's a lot of writing and turning out lunch schedules and writing copy and more writing copy and more writing copy which tends to be how my launch goes. Every time I use a fountain pen on here and on Instagram, I do get asked what I'm using, and this is a vacuum pen from TWSBI, a Taiwanese stationary brand. This is in one of their limited edition colors. I got it just because that nib is so, so lovely. The shine on that nib is incredible. Look at that. Ugh. This is a workhorse of a pen, and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm also using the Lennon Toolbar Sun Moon Lake Black Tea Yue Tang Hong Cha Color Ink. They have a whole line of inks based on teas, and well, that's my jam. Love it. Hello, and welcome to the second to the last episode this year. Uh, you're watching Awfully Made, a fiber maker podcast where I show up every week or every other week depending on the time of year and I make some stuff for you. Uh, I am your host Amy Sure. It's December 19th today and I just wanted to check in real quick and say happy holidays to you all. Wherever you are, I hope you're staying healthy and warm, especially those of us in the North Hemisphere. Here in St. Louis, Missouri, we expect to see some intense, what they call like an arctic front. Which I don't think happened last year for the holidays. I remember last year for on Christmas Day, it was something like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Like it was quite warm. And we did Christmas outside and everything. Um, but this year we'll be hunkering down inside, making sure we have all our supplies, making sure that we'll be safe. And wherever you are, I hope you are also remaining safe and cozy. I wanted to check in and show my face a little bit just to say hello and thank you uh, to everybody who watched my videos, shared about my patterns on social media, or just followed along and shared your stories with me on social media. For those who bought my patterns, uh, or those who knit my patterns and then shared about them, Thank you all for being here. Um, I'm really very grateful that starting in October this year, I get, you know, I got to make this my full-time gig. And that's largely due to all of you, but especially those who support me every month on my coffee subscription link. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a coffee subscription. Uh, to support more content like this vlog and all the other vlogs I put out. Um, <clears throat> this year, thanks to my coffee subscribers, not only was I able to make this a full-time living, I was able to really adjust my schedule to the needs of my testers. We were able to expand my testing timeline to something like, like 10 weeks minimum for garments, 12 weeks is, if it's more complicated and finer than my worsted rate. We were able to provide yarn support for those who've always wanted to test knit and couldn't afford to. I've had so many testers tell me that they wouldn't have been able to join in on a test and they felt like they were missing out on that experience because they couldn't afford the yarn. And thanks to you, my coffee subscribers, we did it. We were able to bring those knitters on and they got to join along the experience and do the, 
like, you know, test knits are kind of like a little knit along and I know a lot of my testers find my tests really enjoyable and fun. So I'm so glad that we were able to expand access to that and, you know, we did that, friends. So thank you all so much for joining me in this journey and making that happen. Uh, I'm so excited for what I have in store next year. Uh, I'll be back next week with a more thorough retrospective of everything I did this year, but um, I'm so proud of everything I did this year. I published my first garment pattern and then I had a garment pattern on the cover of Pom Pom magazine. Still can't believe that happened. Um, I've been published in Wolfolk and Knit Picks and who else? Oh, Making Magazine. I was in Making Magazine. <laughs> um, just an incredible first year as a garment designer. I could not be prouder of the work that um, that not only I myself have done, but also you all have supported me through. Um, I think you only have to look back at the comments of the last few videos to see just how much um, I've been supported and loved by you all. I'm so grateful for that. Um, this fall, I had a really hard time with my youngest being hospitalized for a short period. And then I've had kind of like a recurring walking pneumonia situation. I am feeling a lot better this week. So thank you for all your wishes over the last few months on that. Um, I've received just the most generous support. Uh, not a single person in coffee subscription Slack was like, you missed your monthly video for us. You missed your exclusive coffee vlog. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, forget about the vlogs. Go get some rest. Everybody was just so supportive and kind and sending me well wishes. And just, I think like one, a few of you sent me like, like Venmo me for boba, <laughs> which I guess you know exactly like what I look for when I'm sad and need comforting. But um, thank you all so much for that. Um, I'm really very, very grateful for everybody who's watching this, for everybody who's ever watched my videos. Um, I'm really, really excited to share what I have in store for y'all next year. So thank you again for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your year. And whatever occasion you celebrate this winter, happy holidays. Have a great rest of your year and I'll be back next week. Thanks for watching.